Hi, my little munchkins. How are you? I'm going to read this little book. It's called The Mother's Day Mice. And here is the first page. Look at all these little mice. Aren't they cute? They're in bed. I thought this would be a good one when you read it before you go to bed. Biggest little mouse wakened first. It was early morning and still almost dark. He tugged gently on the whiskers of Middle Mouse, who slept next to him. It's Mother's Day, he whispered. Time to get up and go for our present. Middle Mouse tugged gently on the whiskers of Little Mouse, who slept between him and the wall. Mother's Day, he whispered. They crept out of bed and tiptoed past Mother's Day. Mother's room, I should say. Baba has trouble seeing sometimes. You see that? See all those little mice? Wow. Outside, one star still slept in the sky. They stopped to wash paws and face in the pail of water Mother kept by the front door. Biggest studied his watch. We have two hours before Mother wakes up. Middle and I know what we're getting for her and where to find it. He looked at Little Mouse and waited. I know what I'm getting too, Little Mouse said. Honeysuckle. Biggest shook his head. Little Mouse, honeysuckle grows only on a honeysuckle cottage. And we know who lives in Honeysuckle Cottage. You'll have to find something else for Mother. See how he's looking at the time? Oh, these are kind of big mice, aren't they? Okay, here they are. It looks like they're out in the garden. Little Mouse wanted to argue. But Biggest was already lining them up one behind the other. Hold tails and be quiet as we go, he said. The dark has dangers for little mice. And for big people, too, you have to be careful when it's dark. They ran across the meadow. Little Mouse liked the tough, smooth bill of his brother's tail. He thought the three of them joined together must be long as a snake. He didn't want to think about snakes, though. Can you see how they're holding on with their tails? That's fun. The edges of the sky were streaked with morning. A red fox passed him on his way home. They crouched till the white tip of his tail disappeared in the trees. Grrr, Little Mouse said fiercely. Who's afraid of him? But his voice was so weak that he couldn't hear it himself. An owl sh sheared above them as they lay hidden in the long grass. Little Mouse kept his eyes tight closed. If he couldn't see the owl, the owl couldn't see him. You didn't have to squeeze my tail so hard, Middle Mouse told him when they stood up. I thought you might be frightened, Little Mouse said. I was telling you I was here. Middle Mouse sniffed. A strawberry patch grew at the edge of the meadow. There is my surprise for Mother, Middle Mouse said. She loves strawberries. She says the first ones taste of summer coming. Biggest Mouse boasted that he could get the roundest, reddest berry from the top. Its weight tipped him backward as he carried it. Imagine a strawberry bigger than a mouse. My surprise is here too, big as mouse said. He picked a dandelion fluff ball and held it high by its milky stem. It's a wish flower. A wish flower for mother. Little Mouse thought the fluff ball was as beautiful as spinning on spider's webs. He could see through it. Do you see the little... You ever see dandelion in your yard and it has this little fuzzy stuff on it? If you blow on it, it'll blow away. Sometime have Mommy see if she sees any and show you how that works. Mother will love it, Little Mouse said. Now can we go for the honeysuckle? We have time and maybe he won't be there. Biggest Mouse sighed. We'll go look but only because you're the littlest and it's Mother's Day, and we won't go close. Cat is always there. What do they say about the cats? They chase the mice, don't they? And they're afraid. Cat was there. Look at this big black mouse. Holy smokes. I have never seen one like that. He lay on the porch of Honeysuckle Cottage. Monstrously big, monstrously black, when he yawned, his mouth was a dark spike cave. Little Mouse could see it clearly, even though they weren't too close. Maybe he'll leave soon. Little Mouse whispered. He pulled his eyes away from kite. From he pulled his eyes away from cat to the honeysuckle, 
that twined around the porch. Honeysuckle for mother. Goodness sakes, look at that cat. That scares me. I don't think Duke would like that cat. You see the kitty up there? Middle picked it up again and shooed the beetle away. Little Moss began creeping around, began creeping toward the cottage on his belly. Biggest yanked him back by his tail. Stop that. Anyway, it's time to go. What if Mother wakes up on Mother's Day and all her little mice are missing? Or eaten, Middle added. We have to go, Biggest said. I'm sorry, Little Mouse. But inside, Little Mouse had something had started to be. Something wonderful that was the beginning of an idea. Something better than honeysuckle. It's all right, Little Mouse said. Oh my, wonder what he's going to do. The sun made a pink path across the meadow as they ran for home. Bring her a daisy, Biggest said over his shoulder. She likes daisies. Bring her a rock, Middle Puff, a small rock that's not hard to carry. They're nice, Little Mouse said, but they're not special enough for this special day. He had something special, though. He had it strong and firm in his mind when they got home. I wonder what he's thinking about getting. We'll find out. Biggest stood the fluff ball in a jar beside Mother's chair. Middle put the strawberry on a blue dish on the table. I'm glad I didn't roll it, he said. Sometimes I wanted to, but I carried it all the way home, and it isn't even squished. He glanced sideways at Little Mouse. The strawberry can be from you too, Little Mouse, and the fluff ball will be from both of us, Biggest said. Little Mouse smiled. Thank you, but I thought something of my own. He thought was funny when his brothers looked up all around and then rolled their eyes at each other. Something I kept hidden, he said. Biggest Mouse held up a warning, warning paw. Shh, mother's coming. Uh-oh. Happy Mother's Day, they all shouted when she came in the kitchen. And Mother said, why, you remembered. Remembered? We almost got eaten three. Middle began, but Biggest poked him hard. Sometimes Middle talked too much. Mother blew the fluff ball and it exploded into a million beautiful feathery seeds. Did you make a wish, Biggest Mouse asked? Yes, a wonderful wish. That's Mother there. Mother cut the strawberry in four pieces. I love strawberries, she said. The first one tastes of summer coming. She nibbled on an edge of berry and closed her eyes, and Little Mouse knew she was tasting sunshine and sweet corn and the cold waters of Meadow Stream. Now me, he said. He was so excited he thought he might explode like the fluff ball into a million pieces. <clears throat> the music he'd heard at Honeysuckle Cottage was loud in his mind and he clapped his paws and began to sing. He sang the words he thought of as they ran home. We have brought a song to say, Happy, Happy Mother's Day. No one's mother is so nice. Love from all your little mice. That was wonderful, Mother said when he finished. How astonished his brothers were. They thought he had nothing and all the time he had this. That's what he was thinking. <clears throat> like a little poem for his mother. Was it better than honeysuckles, little mice asked? Much better, Mother said. Honeysuckle doesn't last forever. A song does. Was it the best of all your surprises? As soon as he asked that, Little Mouse felt mean. The song is from all of us, he added quickly. Mother smiled. All my surprises were lovely. You each brought me something different, and you each brought me something the same. Do you know what that was, Little Mouse? Little Mouse knew. They brought her their love. Mother opened her arms wide, and they ran to her. Let's sing Little Mouse a song, she said. See how they're gathering around their mother? Mother and her three little mice swayed together as they sang, and the kitchen was warm with wishes, and some are coming in music and love. I bet your mommy could sing you a song. I bet that would be fun if she did that. Don't you? See how Mama Mice, how she was holding them and 
and dancing and singing. Wow, I bet that was fun. I hope you enjoyed that. Good night, little mice. Love you guys. We'll read another book another time.